Is that it? Yeah. Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and uh, I just got sent this in the mail. This is uh, Sparrow 2.0, and I guess the, the uh, manufacturers more or less think that I'm a nerd and will be desperate to make videos with this thing, and you know what? I'm, they're completely right. This is... I'm going to just open up the packaging here. Ooh, wow, this is actually turning on already because it's charged up. This uh, glowing ball is a little radio-controlled robot with accelerometers and gizmos and Bluetooth and stuff. Let's just take a look at the rest of the package. You have this nice little base for it. You have charging gizmo. It's inductive charging. You put it on there and you plug that into the wall and it'll charge. You get a couple of ramps. And then you've got a box with a power supply. And at the bottom, you have instructions, which, you know, I have not actually looked at because, you know, I'm famous for not reading instructions. Now, this thing it doesn't come with a remote control. Uh, the way you control it is through your Android or iOS smartphone. And we'll just start this up here. This is my Nexus 7 Mark II. And it says searching for Sphero. Oh, and it found it. So it's initializing. Let's take a look. <sighs> now we got it. We got it. We got this. We'll just drive. Just to drive. Sit it on the floor. Let watch it. And all I do is push up. Oh, and it rolls and it goes backwards. Well, and it's all, the controls are all backwards. Okay, so what we got to do is first of all fix the controls. So watch this. I grab this and I turn it around until the blue dot on the ball is facing the right way. And now I should be able to drive forwards. Yes, there we go. And then of course it comes back. Where should we go? You wanna, let's, let's go over to the other side. You can actually speed it up as well. Oh crap, no. We can actually speed it up here. Speed it up. And this should go much faster now. Let's just check it's facing the right way. Oh, it's not facing the right way. Ready, go. And then it disappears off into the mess that is the other end of the house. Hi, Orion. Come on, let's go see where, see where it is. Where is it? Woo! Wow, it's actually kind of too fast for this floor. <laughs> oh, I, I can't get this to face the right way. There it is there. Go forwards. Hey, okay. And what else do we have? We have... Oh, look, we get this freak out mode. That's very nice. And we have rainbow mode as well. Rainbow, can you see rainbow mode there? Okay, you know what, you know what? Uh, you know who I think would like these? Hey, Orion, who do you think would like these? This ball. Oh, it's totally under there. No. Mark? Yeah. No. <laughs> Some furry friends. I cannot see what- Oh, um, our kittens. Yes, let's go take it to the kittens. Oh, yeah, they're going to be so excited. Okay, I'll go upstairs first. Follow me. Okay, so let's see color grab. Okay, ready. So on your turn, the color gr tells you which color to grab, right? So we have player one, player two. Get ready, player one. Player one, who's going to be player one? 
One play one. Okay, go down here. Ready? Start. You have to grab the color. It'll tell you which color to go. Yellow, yellow. No, you got to wait for it to yellow. Pick it up when. Wait, pick it when it's. Orange. Zero points. Okay. Start again. Pull. Green. Oh. I got it. <laughs> Miss. Okay, try again. Ready, player one. I'm gonna try it. Purple. Oh, you missed it. You gotta grab it before. Try again. Yellow. Yes, if Superman and T-Rex had a baby, you'd be the invincible monster. Okay, player one. It's my turn. Red. Get, yo, Speedy got it, 409 points. Mm. Right, your turn, Orion. Blue. Blue. Oh, you picked it up before it was blue. Mm. No more points, my turn. Ready? Green. Holy cookies, man bat! You did this manly, not man bat. Okay, Ryan, your turn. That's funny. Ready? Yellow! Top of the cookie mountain! You grabbed it! Okay. Okay, so we've already demonstrated a very simple game. And uh, what I'm going to do is to show that uh, you, the accelerometers in this are actually precise enough you can actually use this as an input controller for a game here. So, what this works as is a three degree of freedom joystick, right? So I can move it left and right, up and down, and I can also rotate it to shoot these targets. And so you have a very simple shooter here. You can barely see what's going on. I'm trying to move my hand, which means I'm going to be a terrible pilot because you, I'm going to be moving this so that you can actually see what's going on. So there we go. So I mean, that's what the device is, really. It's a bunch of motors, it's a Bluetooth transceiver, it has enough logic on board to do all the stuff that it needs to. It has colored lights, which can be changed. Uh, it has accelerometers in it, which, of course, you can check from the your Bluetooth device. Uh, to run it, you're going to need an Android or an iOS, which would mean iPad or iPhone device. Uh, there is a bunch of different applications you download. All the different applications are free. Some of them let you program it. Some of them let you play very simple games. Uh, the package comes with a couple of items. Well, you see how it flashed red there when I actually hit something. I'm just trying to shoot these things. This is not a control system which I'm particularly used to, but then again, I also can't play first-person shooters on a game controller on a console, so, you know, there are millions of people who have learned to play first-person shooters using uh, game controllers on a console, so I'm not going to say that it's a terrible system just because I'm rubbish at it. It's going to be a terrible system largely because it's not actually designed to be a game controller. But uh, regardless, it's a, a cool idea, a cool concept showing that the system can go in both directions. It can become an output as well as an input. Uh, dear, dear, dear. You can also control, apparently you can control multiple spherals from a single device, depending upon the application. Uh, I obviously haven't tested that because I only have the one. I haven't tested all the apps either, It's uh, there's a lot to look at, and to be honest, I saw things like golf and thought, I would rather have my teeth pulled than play something called golf. Whoever would come up with such a bizarre sounding game? But they say, golf is a good walk spoiled, or golf is a, a game in which you attempt to hit a small ball into a small hole using implements ill-designed for the purpose. Regardless, this isn't about golf, this is about spheral and... Uh, I think it's a cool little toy. Uh, it's about a hundred dollars, I believe, for one of these. You, this is the 2.0 model, which has improved in a number of ways over the original design. And uh, yeah, take a you know look out for it if it's your kind of thing. If it appeals to you, if not, that's okay. It's not like you have to buy it just because you watch my channel. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.